my face that's appearing on TV. If the police wanted to track me down, they could. The Singapore art scene is buzzing with excitement, with artists we dare say are very out of the box. As artists ourselves, we love being surprised and wowed by all the creativity out there. So, it's time for us to take turns to scour the island and reveal our very own brand of Made in SG artists. In each episode, we will seek out a mystery box that contains clues and tools that will lead us to them. Then we'll be tasked to learn their craft and it's never as easy as it looks. I'm all fired up. It's time for some unboxing. Hi, I'm Mark Valentine. And I'm Sharda Harrison. Join us on Unboxing, Unboxing Art. Art. It's my turn today. Dixon Nasi Lama. Hmm, are we eating? Because I can always do with a second breakfast. Spot the box. Ah, wonder what we're unboxing today. Ha! Okay, this looks like a pizza cutter or is it a letter opener? I'm not sure. Are we making nasi lemak pizza? Because that actually could be quite delicious. There's a note, hold on. Okay. For those of you who are waiting for a sign, if you woke up today, that's your sign. Sign. That is a very eye-catching sign. Look at this. Is it painted? Oh, I think I know what my artist does. So, I just spoke to the owners and I asked them who created their signs and they handed me another clue. This photo and an address. I'm on the right track. Let's go. The final clue led me to Peace Centre, which turned out to be a pretty creative and crazy space. Okay, so this is definitely the place and... Oh, you must be my artist. Hello. Hi, I'm Sharda. So nice Hi, Sharda. to meet you. I think I solved it. You are a sign painter. That's right. My name is Charmaine. I'm a sign painter. I paint signs and letters with a brush, just like they used to back in the day. From storefront signs to murals, every line is laid by hand and every stroke is hand-painted. So what's my challenge for today? Your challenge for today is to learn sign painting. So first we will create a design, and then we'll find a wall, and then we'll paint the sign. I really love your studio. I'm noticing all the signs that you have here, especially this one. Business with no sign is a sign of no business. So I painted this phrase for Blag, which is a sign painter's magazine. Sign painting has a real human element to it. You can tell that someone has gone and put in quite a lot of effort to produce the sign. And even if it's quick and casual, um, there's always a lot of character to it. What is that? That looks really cool. Does that come under sign painting as well? Yeah, it does. Um, that's a reverse glass gilding. It's a really old Victorian craft uh, where you work from the back and you work in reverse and you use a mix of oil and gelatin to create um, different finishes with the gold leaf. Mm -hmm. Can I try? Of course. Yeah? So today we're using 18K gold uh, that's been hand beaten really, really thin into these sheets in Chicago. You need some form of static for the gold to be picked up. So you, you, you're going to put Vaseline on yourself? Yeah, it charges the, the tip of my brush with static, which allows the gold to stick to the brush. Oh, okay. We cut the gold to whatever size you want. And then you've got your size here which is made of gelatin and water. Why has it got gelatin in it? Um, it's what helps the gold stick to the glass and also to produce that mirror finish that you see. Flood the area that you want to gild. There we go. <laughs> Are you ready? No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I only touch which part, like... Um, like here, you can go downwards, you can go sideways, but we want it to be flooded. Yeah. All right. 
And then you can go like sideways because this is this. Yep, yeah. Push up against the glass. Push then... up against the glass. Yeah, there you go. Wow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm good at this. Let's say my producer is the client. What sign would you choose? Oh, of course. So how do you create a design? I really like the bee in this and I like the shadow going on with this. I will scan it into the computer and then I will blow it up to whatever size I want and then I will manipulate the image, maybe layer it with something else and just see how it works. We have chosen the typeface, mm -hmm. we've created the design and we've printed it out. Okay, so we're gonna use this little tool. Um, it's called a pounce wheel. And uh, essentially what it does is that um, as I run it along the edges of the letter, it's gonna perforate the edges and create little holes, which will allow us to um, transfer it onto the wall. I put my hand quite firm. Wow. Mm -hmm. This thing making all these little dots. Once you've done your pattern, oops, you can use it over and over again. See, I shouldn't talk to you while you're doing work, because obviously I'm... Can't talk to you I can't have anybody... Okay. <laughs> you can have a go with the A on whichever way you like. You can... A for amazing. Yeah. You don't up, down, this down. This guy is the other way around? The oh. house? Yeah. Okay. Why don't I know these things? So it's this way. You can pull towards you, whatever you feel is more comfortable, or you can okay. push. Um, I'm a pulling person. Oh, I'm not a push. Out. <laughs> yeah, it's just getting in the way. Oh, this is just the beginning. Um, you got something. I'm getting serious, guys. I'm gonna have to tie my hair. Sorry, hairstylist. I know you wanted my hair down, but it's time to get serious. <laughs> Nice. Well done. Okay, so you see these little bits? Um, you run your finger along and you can feel these bumps? Yep. That means we've successfully perforated the paper. High five! Thank you, teacher. Let's go find a walk. Well, now that I know what I'm doing and where I'm going, this doesn't feel so scary anymore. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of fun. Although the idea of painting on a public wall still feels like something I shouldn't be doing. Is this vandalism? Guys, it's my face that's appearing on TV. If the police wanted to track me down, they could. I'm not going to get into trouble, right? Don't worry. The place will be torn down in a while, so the owners have um, deemed it what they call the playpen, and everybody has free reign to come in and express themselves just why it looks like this. Hey, the spot here. Yeah, it's a good spot. Yeah, looks good. Let's set up. Let's do it. What do you need help setting up with? Uh, maybe you can help me grab this end of the cloth and we're just going to pull it to up against the wall. Oh, this is the pad thing. Yeah, so this is a... This is... A, no. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is a mall stick. You put your paint in one hand and then you've got this as your pivot point and you've got your brush in the other hand. Oh. Uh, it's a supporter so that you don't touch the surface and your hand doesn't shake. Right, right. And we've got a UA. How do you tell if something is straight or not? You hope that you, you can trust your eye, but there's always a spirit level. You make sure that your spirit level is lined up with the top edge. Okay, let's stick it down. Okay. We're gonna pounce? Mm-hmm. Like pounce? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna yeah. pounce that thing. Yeah. So this is the pounce pad with the chalk powder. You just bash it and then kind of get it into the holes in a circular motion. You see that? Yeah. So it's come through and here you go. Okay. Gonna... Oh, 
And then you can go in a little circular motion, like, like, rub. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's physical already from the get-go. Yeah. Let's take a look and see if we've got it all. Okay. Yes! Great. Yeah. Awesome. Unboxing art. Okay, so now we're going to mix the paint in with water. Um, no, we're going to use turpentine. Give it a good shake. What's your family support like? My dad's a leathersmith, so he does everything from restorations to repairs. My dad's the one who taught us the value of using our hands, and he's always told me that that's a skill. If you attain a skill like that, nobody can take that away from you. Wow. What a, like, a wholesome, hearty, life lesson to have. <laughs> At the moment, the only thing they tell me not to do is work too hard. OK. But besides that, uh, it's, it's been great. So I'll do the U, and then y you can do the A. So it's OK if you get anything out. Just uh, yeah. you can extend it a little bit. Right. It looks very intensely focused. <sighs> Quite straight, isn't it? It's good. Yeah. Okay. Ah. So we want to try and avoid the paint from going on the metal part. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty loaded. This is loaded. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and then you approach it as straight as straight as possible. I am straight or angle. <laughs> um, Do go it. into that little corner. Yeah. Put the brush flat against the wall. Okay. Yeah. And then push. Yeah. Oh. Push. You got push it. And, yeah, and then just drag down. Oh, yeah. Girl, but I'm not sure how much I can drag down. No, you're okay. It, it's the brush carries a lot of paint. Okay. I not see bad that. at all. Really? Mm -hmm. Of course. Not bad at all. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all the way. Yeah. Just come up. Yeah. Okay. It's quite a nice stroke. I've got a nice stroke. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna see you now. We've got a lot to paint, but yeah. um, it's a nice, really nice start. Thanks. Beyond nice strokes, like I'm this, trying like to keep this, my hand like steady, this. telling myself not to blink and focusing on staying within the lines. Painting signs is really a work of labor. <sighs> it's slowly coming to life. I am happy with all my imperfections. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. It is, yeah, well done. Thank That's you. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Smart and signed. Thank you so much. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. I didn't think I'd be able to do that because painting scares me, but I'm so proud of what we have achieved together. If there was one thing that you could share with the public, what would it be? The beauty of, of the craft is that you can never be too good. So um, your ego goes out the door and you just keep learning and you just keep getting better and you, you gain knowledge from people around you. What is your dream? What's next for you? What I really like to find is, is the old timers, the OGs who have done... There's still some really good hand-painted signs they're slowly disappearing, but I can't seem to find these people. If you are one of those people, want to form a community, please hit Charmaine up at oldworld underscore charm. So I was reading up on sign painting in Singapore, and I am so amazed that there is so much history and culture packed into just one sign. For instance, Using multiple languages was unique to signs in Singapore, featuring a playful mix of lettering styles across the different languages. Ah, I'm just so glad that I got to contribute my mark to the sign world. I love this sign, UA. In fact, I'm going to take a photo of it and I am going to send this to Mark. Ah, he's going to love it.